back to Miss Henrik's video demo. Today I'm going to show you how to make chimichurri steak. Um, the kind of steak that I'm going to be using is skirt steak. So let's look at our mise en place. This is the skirt steak. It's a choice grade, which is about the middle grade. See all that nice marbling, which is the intermuscular fat. Uh, gives it good quality meat. So this meat has been marinating in olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of red pepper flakes. Just a little bit. So I'm going to have it marinating overnight for you. So all you have to do is take your meat and prepare your chimichurri salsa verde and cook the meat. Um, for the chimichurri sauce, it's a, it's a green sauce or salsa verde. We're going to have parsley, a quarter cup, chopped up. This is a tablespoon of basil, two teaspoons of oregano chopped up, two teaspoons of red onion or shallots, but I'm using red onion because we have donated red onion, so it's going to be just fine. Um, half of a lemon and the juice. And then you're going to need some garlic. It's about one clove chopped up. And I've actually already done that and put it in some olive oil. Pepper, salt, sherry vinegar, and a nice olive oil. Everything needs to be chopped finely. So I'll just show you once and you'll do it for every time. So you kind of gather your bunch, remove the big stems, gather the bunch of herbs, use the claw, and just very carefully, Uh, chop up your herbs without chopping your fingers. Okay, so it's about a quarter of a cup. You're going to put it into a bowl. Add the rest of your herbs. Oops. This is the garlic and olive oil. And then a small pinch of your red chili peppers. It's very small. Mix that all up and set it to the side while you prepare the steak. We're gonna broil this steak. Um, 
There's many ways to cook steak. You could cook it on the grill. You could cook it in a saute pan. But I'm going to teach you a new method, which is called broiling, which is very high heat. Um, and the heat comes from the top of the stove. So first things first is you're going to move the rack to the top, the very top shelf. Can you see that? Um, there's the coils, very hot, coming from the top. You're going to have to move, before you turn the oven on, move the rack to the very top. So, okay, on a sheet pan, sheet pan's fine, uh, you'll put your steak, it's nice and marinated, on your sheet pan. And into the hot oven, right under the broiler. And you'll need to keep the oven cracked just like this so that you can watch your meat cooking, okay? And now that my steak is cooking, this has been this plate has been contaminated with raw meat, so it's going to go right into the wash with all my other dishes. Um, so I had my steak in there for about two minutes, and it was nice and sizzly, like the color is turning brown, but it's obviously still pink underneath. At this point, you're going to flip it over so that the other side can cook. So another, let's see what it looks like in another two minutes. All right, so my um, steak has been resting for three minutes and now the internal temperature was 149. So it's just where we want it to be. Um, remember that the temperature rises while it's resting. And we'll show you how to cut this steak. Now you want to cut the steak a certain way so that it stays tender. Yes, so you want to cut along the grain. So the grains are right there. So the grains, see that? And see how they're going right there? It's perfect medium, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks, Justin. All right, that's the video. You're going to serve your slices of steak uh, with your chimichurri sauce. Um, at home, you could serve it with a side of potatoes, rice, bread, make a steak sandwich, however you want to do that. Um, to, tomorrow during lab, you'll have to share the one steak between the six of you, but you'll get a good idea of how to make the steak. So I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thanks for watching.